Okay, Inger in Florida, finish up. So they also get out of limestone the chemicals that they put in the water. When you hear the word fluoridation, it means over 300. Generally, it's about 130 or so. We got a tour of the Austin water treatment. But it is chemical waste. And they also mine the limestone for fertilizer, uh, for the chemicals they put in fertilizer. So, um, you know, I, I think just seeing some trucks drive around doesn't mean mass graves. All the official admissions by the federal government and the states of crematoriums and mass graves, though, does. And, Inger, I'm not criticizing you. We should all keep our eyes open. But we can keep our eyes open for congressmen and governors saying they're getting ready for martial law and that it's bad. I mean, this, this isn't like we're looking for this or anything. Uh, because the way a straw man operator works is Glenn Beck would take your call from this show and say, look, she thinks it's mass graves from limestone, and he'd go to the limestone quarry and... They'd say, oh, we're doing this for fertilizer. And then never look at the hundreds of admissions of the FEMA camp. See, that's how their twisted system works. But tell me more about this. Okay, I understand exactly what you're talking about. And, the, uh, yes, they could totally say that that wasn't what it was for. But these are hundreds and hundreds of trucks, and we've never seen them before. And it's just been in the last few weeks. And on the WHO website, it clearly says under their how to dispose of um, bodies in an emergency situation that if it is um, – considered what they are saying would be an epidemic, that you would not use lime. You would use um, chlorine or other types of solutions like that. So that makes me think that it's not going to be related to, um, you know, the pandemic or the flu that they're trying to hype. Yeah, but they may have just opened up a new aggregate mining facility. They have those all around where I live, mining um, marble and granite and limestone. I mean, all I'm saying is, ma'am, it's all admitted they're building mass graves. I'm not debating you on that. Uh, I mean, what are the trucks? I mean, is it blocks of is it blocks of limestone? No, it's 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 covered over in um, like you know like a black tarp that you see over a truck, so the stuff doesn't fly out of it. And what's weird is this has been going on just now for the last few weeks, and it's it's hundreds of trucks. But also, just last week in Cape Coral. On August the 7th, um, my husband took pictures of military helicopters, green ones, flying, and they have spray bars on them. And when my husband wow. asked someone who lived in the neighborhood why, because he was just in that area for the day, why they were there, and he said, oh, yeah, we saw it on the news. They, the military, the Army sold uh, the city a whole bunch of used um, helicopters to spray for mosquitoes. Well, wow. we don't have that many mosquitoes. I mean, we have mosquitoes. No, no, I hear you, I hear you and I appreciate your call. I want to get Bob's comment here in closing. Uh, on this, we'll take more calls with uh, Alan Keyes coming up. But, uh, again, I just don't want to miss the forest for the trees here. Um, they admittedly have built mass graves. They admittedly are gearing up for this, 400,000 troops. Whether they really release a deadly flu or not, this was clearly all staged. They built up for this beforehand, and they're using it to train us for federalization. Bob, your take on this. I uh, I don't see uh, the government giving used helicopters to uh, Charlotte County or or any of that area down there. Um, they've asked for them for years and got nothing. Uh, it happens I used to live there, and uh, and so uh, I, I think they were military helicopters, and they were probably manned by military people. Well, I was going to say the army admits. They do all these chemical, biological, and radiological tests on people. So they'll lie to the public with any cover story. Get a free copy of the International Forecaster. It comes out twice a week. It's coming out tomorrow. The InternationalForecaster.com. Go ask for the free copy of the latest edition. And Bob, Lord willing, we'll see you next week, brother. You got it. I'll be there. Bye-bye. Take care. Stay with us. <laughs> 